This video is a very important video. Why 40? Because we're going to be choosing my marathon shoe. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs HQ here in the UK. Now where are you in the world? Are you in the Philippines, Peru, Japan? Where are you in the world? Because it's awesome and amazing when I hear people in Tokyo or, or, or Peru or the Philippines saying that they watch 40 runs. You are crazy and I don't understand how you can, well, understand a single word that I say, but I do love you. Okay, nutters, right, so it is that time of the year where I need to make a very important decision and choose between these two shoes for which one's gonna get me around the London Marathon. Okay, right, so history lesson, uh, very brief. Last year I ran Amsterdam Marathon in the Adios Pro 3. I've been a big fan of the Alpha Fly, um, and I wore them for a few marathons and stuff like that, but then I switched over to the Adios Pro 3. Uh, I bought these because I was gonna do Manchester and London, but then I sacked off Manchester and concentrated on London because Simon's got a place in London. And then Sockany sent me these, and I really liked them. And I got myself into a muddle, and now I'm gonna decide which one I'm gonna wear. Right, you got all that? Yes, good, okay, right, so, like I said, Sockany sent me these, uh, but I'm not getting paid by Sockany, right, but that'd be pretty cool if they did. These I purchased out of my own money, I got these for 154 pounds, can't remember the website, it might have been startfitness.co.uk, but you can actually get 10% off using the code 40 rounds, but I bought these myself, people, um, mainly because Adidas don't like me. And that's because I tell the truth, yes, Adidas, you need a cowboy up and just start taking some of this constructive criticism. Right, okay, let's do uh, stats and features of these two shoes first. Marathon shoes, obviously. Uh, where do we go, where do we go? Okay, 280 pounds, eight point something ounces, power run, HG. We've got a 40 mil stack, 32 in the four foot, eight mil drop, fits true to size. And then we've got the Adios Pro, 350 pounds, yeah. The, there is over 100 pound difference. Light Strike Pro, eight point something ounces, 39 and a half in the uh, back, 30 something in the front, six mil drop, fits true to size. Both have got this sort of mono meshy kind of uppers on them, uh, terrible lacing, little bit of padding in the heel on both. Um, this has got, where is it, continental rubber on the outsole, and this has got whatever it's called on the outsole. Both got good uh, mid-foot lockdowns. Lacing's not brilliant on these. Uh, there is that story that I've said a million times now that I had to uh, undo these and redo these in, not this shoe, but the other ones I had in the Amsterdam Marathon because I'm still playing around with lacing, but I've had no lacing issues with these. Okay, right, so, um, like I said, this is like an old friend. This is like a, uh, a trusty horse that you get on to go out and, and corral up the... Um, the cows and stuff like that, you know, it's just your trusty horse that you know will not get you into trouble. This is that sort of horse that's a bit wild, maybe it's just been broken in and you're thinking, yeah, I'm gonna have some fun here, but am I gonna die at the same time? Bad analogy, but hopefully you know where I'm going. So it's that sort of stepping into the unknown, which was, which is kind of where I was at with the Alpha Fly going to the Adios Pro. I didn't really know how it was gonna turn out. Right, so this is where you come in, what would you go for? Right now, let me know in the comments before you watch the rest of this video, where do you think I'm going? Let me know in the comments and then we'll come back in a bit and we can discuss it a little bit further. Okay, you done it? Put your bet in? Good. All right, so Cambridge half, did a good job, was okay. Uh, still didn't 100% have confidence in it. Uh, obviously, like I said, we've done Amsterdam in these. And I've, I've run, I've put about, well, it's about... 25, 26 miles in the shoe, uh, and it just feels awesome. It just feels like the other version, all right? So, it was a hard decision to make, but I have made a decision. So for London, I'm gonna wear these, the Adios Pro 3. Now, this is not to say in any shape or form that I dislike this shoe, just a bit of a spoiler and a caveat to all this. I, it's not that I dislike this shoe, it's not that, that this that shoe is not good enough for marathons and all this sort of stuff, okay? It's got nothing to do with that. It's also got nothing to do with the fact that it's 280 or quid. Okay, I'm taking price out of this. This is a personal preference in terms of this video, okay? Right, so you got that? But for me, I honestly don't believe that I run the marathon fast enough to get the best out of this shoe. This shoe has been designed funny enough, for elites, okay? And I just don't feel that I run the marathon distance fast enough in this shoe to get the most out of it. 
and that's being honest and transparent yeah i mean i'm going to try and run about 835 per mile for as long as i can and hold on for dear life yeah i want to get the time down i want to improve as a runner and get faster but right now i don't think i'm fast enough to run in these where with this this is a little bit more um user friendly there's just something about this shoe with the adios pro 3 that gives you that confidence to run at goal pace in it but if you do tire and do come back a bit it, it, it allows you to do that it gives you the confidence that it, you can get away with a little bit of murder in it does that make sense and i think that's the ultimate reason why i'm going to wear this in london because always you've got to think to yourself how's it going to go on race day yeah you've got to be confident yeah you're going to think you're going to kill it yeah you're going to think you're going to nail your goal pace all the way through but i've done enough of these things now i've been on this rodeo a little while that i know that sometimes things get thrown at you and i know later on in the race that your form goes out of the window and, and and you know if your form's like bang on then you're going to be okay but my form's going to drop i'm going to start pronating i'm probably going to start walking at some points getting some water and things like that and this is just a little bit more, like I say, user-friendly. So that's where we're going with it. That's what we're going to do with it. Let me know now in the comments, did you get it right or wrong? But I'm going to rock these out at the London Marathon. Again, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this shoe, and I'll probably put this into play uh, at a half marathon. And you know what? Uh, the marathon we do at the end of the year, I may put this into play. So let's see where we go, because maybe I'll speed up over the summer. But let's just, we'll come back to you on that one. But for now... This is where we're going, people. So let me know in the comments, did you get it right, did you get it wrong? I'm going to be rocking this. I think it looks awesome as well. Um, so, yeah, there we go. This is my marathon shoe for the London Marathon 2023.